Come on in, y'all. Are y'all ready? Because I am. Let's roll the clip. Y'all ready? Thank y'all for coming on in. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks and sit and chat with ooh, me, this hood girl to the hood. Y'all, this is a... Whew, Scene one, take one. Let's roll the tape. And we have something to talk about today. Y'all already know I can't be nobody other than me. Let's get ready to say prayers. <laughs> oh, Father God, thank you for this week. Bringing us through it. Blessing us through it. Have your way in our lives. Remove us out of the way. We think we know everything we want to do. It's not about us. It's about you. And that's it. That's all. I, I thank you and I love you, Father God. Thank you for ordering these steps in your word, Father God. Whew. Thank you. Mm. 10,000 times, I cannot thank you enough. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Y'all, y'all see what we eating? I wanted some spicy noodles. That's what we have. I have some um, honey. Uh, honey. I'm going to tell y'all I found a recipe. Honey shrimp today. And then, of course, y'all, we got to have them air fried wings. Okay. I didn't make the wing sauce, though. So, we just got some um, ranch dressing here. Uh, this is fried. God dang it. This is fried. I'm ready. I'm doing some hookah tonight. I'm going to be sipping something. This hood girl stuff. Y'all already know how. Have fun tonight, y'all. Don't worry about nothing. Just have fun. So, salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good hood stuff. Cheers. Thank y'all for coming in. Come on. What are y'all eating on with me? This hood girl. I'm going to be talking tonight. God dang it. But let me eat it just a little bit. Y'all, these noodles is... Y'all see all that smoke? Y'all already know. Ooh, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's yummy. Y'all want this one? You can have it. Y'all, I am so happy. I don't care what I'm going through. I'm going to choose happy. Uh... I'm just going to choose happy. You know, I had a couple of days where um, I was a little low. And that's okay. You just can't simmer and you can't stew in that. Go through it and come out of it fast. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. That's good. Mm. It's spicy too. Mm. All my time. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's spicy. Goodness. Mm. Y'all, this shrimp, I'm going to tell y'all how I cooked it. Oh, that's good. Oh. Mm. That's good. That's good. I did honey, soy sauce, ginger, garlic, red pepper flake. I seasoned the shrimp and I poured a third of a cup just over that so it can uh, marinate. And then I saved some. And so when I cooked it, I did the olive oil and butter and I let them cook maybe two minutes on one side and then I flipped them and then I poured the rest of that juice with some, uh, I put some um, parsley and Italian seasons on it and I just let it simmer for another three minutes. This, this is what it is. This is good. I think I might want rice because they did it with rice. I think why. I know why now. Mm-hmm. That's good. That really is good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Man, that flavor is good. Didn't I just have shrimp last week, y'all? Yeah, I did. Because I was going to do some blue crabs. Because I went to the uh, fresh market on Thursday. Damn, that's good. Oh, this is a simple meal. It's so good. Y'all, I haven't even touched them wings, but we're going to get into it. Mm, mm, y'all. Don't forget to pray for the sick and shut in. And our elders. Look at that. Perfectly cooked in the air fryer. Y'all know when I season my meat, who is hot? Once I dry, that's that's hot. I uh, put just a little olive oil because you know when you put a little olive oil on your dry meat, the seasoning stick. Of course, oh my heart. Mm. Damn. It's a bit of a good meal. And you season it. It sticks more, so I marinated it. But I also spray canola oil on the bottom of the air fryer, and then I spray it on top of the chicken. Mm hmm. Some people say you can use baking soda. I don't want to do that. Uh, yeah. Baking soda. That's okay. I like mine just how they are. Okay. Y'all know I'm dating. I had a little struggles. When you're learning each other, especially uh, different ethnics, you got to learn what they like and what they don't like, and they got to learn what you like and what you don't like. Damn, that's hard. Dating, dating is too fucking hard. much hard work. Did I say the F word? Dating is like a second, third job if you already got two jobs. Ain't nobody got time for that. Mm-mm. Mm. It's hard. It, it, it's, it's hard. And it shouldn't be. Take me back 25 years when it was good and it was fun. It was easy. Take me back there. I do want to have a relationship someday. I don't want to rush nothing, though. Y'all already know that. I ain't rushing nothing. I'm not going to force anything. What I really want is sex. It's just, this is just, just call. What, what kicking me when they say, uh, uh, let's call it a buck? Uh, however she say that. However she say it. <laughs> Shit. Because I have a good life. I take care of myself well with God. God takes care of me. I don't ask nobody for nothing. Not anything. Nothing. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Mm, let's smoke it out. If I wasn't afraid for all that disease stuff, Give me a man. We can have collabs, fun, go out, do shit. Don't worry about what the fucking world say about you and nobody else. Because you know what? One thing you learn on your journey. When you're doing good, everybody talking about you. You know why? Because they are envying. They're jealous. They want to do what you do. They want they want what you have. They talk about you more when you when you when you're doing good more than you're not than bad. I don't give a shit what people say about me. I learned that a long long time ago. Because whether you are good or bad, they everybody got something to talk about. 
And it ain't about you, it's about them. I do understand everybody don't want to be on social media. I, I get that. I get that too. But I'm a social media girl. Okay? You ain't got me on now. But I would want my boo thing to do a collab with me, you know? Q&A's, you know what I mean? Got to worry about what the world's saying and the negative stuff that you think that's coming in. Nobody got time for that shit. And I'm serious, y'all. Dating is, is, is man, it's, 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 it's gone. Shit, let's have fun. Let's do what we do when we do it, when we feel it. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know, I've been praying a long time. Well, not a long time. But enough time for a mate. I'm a good girl. With some bad stuff. But my bad is good. You know, I say when I'm bad, I'm better. You can believe that. When I'm bad, I'm not, oh, I am better. Trust that. If, if two people can tell y'all that, it's better loud and, and Dion. And, and that's for real. <laughs> when I'm bad, I'm better, honey. I am good. Really. And, and when you get to my age, you, you got to know you and it ain't no bragging. I'm damn good. Hmm. Hmm. I just want to have fun. I want a relationship, but I want to have fun with it. It's got to be serious all damn time. Let's have fun. That's what people like. So, y'all probably going to see everybody I'm dating. I'm only going to date people that I'm interested in. I'm not wasting my time with these fools out here. And I don't want them to waste time with me either. I'm a picky chooser, but I, 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 but I do choose. Because it's a choice. I'm meeting them. <laughs> but everybody don't intrigue me, though. I like a smart man. I would like a wise man. But the biggest thing that I love that penetrates me is intelligence and communication. Communication is the foundation of everything. And everything can be talked about with just a little conversation. It can be worked out with just conversation. Communication. Shit. If you want to know something about me and why I do what I do, ask me. I can tell you better than anybody. Because I'm the source. Okay. Y'all hear that crying? That's good. And I'm just venting, y'all. That's what we do. I'm ready for my hookah. I'm gonna do some uh, blueberry. Uh -uh, I left some meat on that. We can't do that. Mmm. 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 Y'all know. Uh, I uh, did my store run today on my lunch break. Mm. That chicken so damn good. And of course, you know the the uh, meat market manager. We 
I've been going to that uh, Kroger for three years, y'all. <laughs> and many of them haven't did anything. We flirt. And I got that today. He said, here, my boss, he said, came out. He said, where have you been? And I was like, well, been a little preoccupied. I was going to the other club. <laughs> he said, girl, you got to give me a hug. I said, no, you ain't for to hug me with all that old raw meat on you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Don't you touch me. Oh, oh, y'all. Excuse me. Mm. Honey, for I knew it. I was looking at this meat, and uh, he had to taken them um, aprons off. And he came up behind me and gave me a big old bear hug. I told him, you better watch yourself, huh? I said, why did you do that? That ain't the first time he did it, though. But the way he did it today, I was like, damn, you really did miss me, didn't you? He said, because he liked it. And he liked doing me like that. And he liked me. But here again, y'all. We've been seeing each other for three years. You see what I'm saying? I don't know what his conversation is like outside of the store because I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to date him. It's sometimes you meet people and you just have to be friends or cordial, or whatever you call it. Um, everybody don't need to be in your bed. I, that's me. I meet a lot of men. A lot of men is in my friend zone because I didn't feel nothing. Not that nothing can't happen. I just didn't choose you at that moment. But shit, the, 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 the man that I choose, I think my picker may be, oh, shit, I was thinking I, oh, mm -mm. but I like him still. He likes me, but I don't think, uh, I don't think he'd like what I do on social media or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I heard, I listened to a man called Stephen Speaks, right? He got first selling books, y'all, out there. His name is Stephen Speaks, a black man. I woke up early this morning and I listened to him about some time. But I've said it so many times. So when he said it, it was confirmation for me. Sometimes you can meet the right person. It's just the wrong time. And he said the same thing. Sometimes God will put you in the space and meet, let you meet that person. Just meet to see that you that you just got to meet. But but he's not done with, with either of y'all. Y'all going to meet again. He just had to show you each other. When that man said that, hmm. I almost rolled out the bed. I've been saying that for how many years? Been loud, Dion. How many? And everybody else that I encouraged. How many times have I said? Sometimes it's just you. You, you know it's the good. You know it's the right one. It's just wrong timing. But also, he, he, he had a whole story. And so, what he said is that when you are praying for your man or woman, and when somebody comes into your, your equation, your space, and you say, oh my God, because now y'all, you know, you like them. You know, the look is good, the feeling is good, and everything else is good, good, good. We forgot to ask God. We prayed for the person, but we didn't ask God. What should we do with that person? Hmm. And, and so with that, I'm going to say what I've always taught people. Sometimes it's a lesson or a blessing. You just got to know the discernment when God gives it to you, who that person is going to be for you.
Mm-hmm. That's the thing, you know. Yeah, I got a lot of flats over here. I probably need to do a leg, huh? Mm-hmm. We're about to run out of time. I'm going to tell y'all. Now, this, I want. I, I wish I could show y'all with y'all. Because it was simple, but it's so freaking tasty. This is really a good meal. Mm-hmm. I thought I heard something outside my door. It's really, a, this is really a good meal. Thank y'all for eating with me. Don't forget to sum, uh, the uh, thumbs, sum, thumbs your girl up. Don't forget to thumbs me up. Mm -hmm. And for so all my new people, thank y'all for coming in. Now, before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And y'all see that little gray uh, bell on the side? You know what? If you hit that, every time I upload a video... You're going to be there with me eating. Yeah. So, yeah. That's it. I'm not going to go right now. Mm. Today, I was at Kuzo AB and um, Dame Dash and Molly. We have a um, Jolly Beaches here in Houston. And they've been here for two weeks already, right? But every time I had saw people that ate at Jollibee's, they was happy with the food. But when I saw them going to Jollibee's, I'm going to tell y'all, I got to go down. I'm going to have to go because they loved, loved that food. So y'all know I got to go, right? Mm -hmm. They loved the chicken. And they love spaghetti with those uh, um, wieners in there. Those hot dogs and, and pepperoni. Yeah, I got to go. I, I just got to go. They're not letting people eat in right now, though. So they have to eat in the car. I don't mind. I've only done one car mukbang in my whole life. I'm ready to do another car mukbang. And I want to be with, with Jolly Bees. Yeah. You know why? Because... Y'all know I love my chicken. <laughs> and I love my pasta. If you can get it in the same place, because you remember black people? Black people uh, back in the day, on Friday, sometimes, sometime in the middle of the week, uh, Your mama cooked some uh, fish and spaghetti or chicken and spaghetti. That's what we had. More chicken and spaghetti than anything. Well, fish and spaghetti. <laughs> Every now and then you have some french fry. And they were not the bag. They were freshly uh, cut and cooked. But I am excited, y'all. So I got, I, I got to find it. And I'm definitely going to be going. Uh, it may be. Somebody else I got. It may be um, next week because I'm out Friday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm out for uh, on the 5th. But then I'm out five days at the end of the month. Five. Honey. Somebody question. Somebody been fussing all day today. I don't think they like each other. <laughs> if we gotta fuss and do all that shit, you ain't need to be together anyway. Say your goodbyes and go on. on. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not gonna go through that bull crap with, with, with no relationship. I'm not. Life is too freaking short. We're dying like left and right. Why you wanna be somebody that got the hog all the time? Mm mm. Mm -mm. I'm sad all the time. Complaining all the time.
Now, one thing that's in that Bible a thousand times is a, about a nag. Something bit me. They got a mosquito here. A nagging wife. You know what that Bible says about a nagging wife? It's better for her husband to sleep on the roof of his house than to be inside with a nagging wife. That's bad, ain't it? But the Bible says that. Huh, I ain't got time for no, I don't like no whining ass man. <laughs> Those who are close to me already know. <laughs> That's the biggest turn off for me. Oh, don't whine. Dude, don't whine. But y'all, the high point for me is this. Every day, I choose happy. Yes, I'm going to go through some stuff. But I'm not going to soak in my shit. I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to be dating more and more as the world. Whoever is for me, he's going to be for me. I'm, I, you know, the Bible says it's one man and, and one, it's, it's only one good man and 1,000. I don't know if I can date 999 men. <laughs> I'm, probably, <laughs> I'm probably like, uh, but... I'm 58. I was married and I fell in love for three years. I dated a lot from from uh, 13 to 30. <laughs> so I might be I might be in the 200s. <laughs> no, y'all. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I got to laugh at that, my damn self. Huh. There is one good man in every 1,000. So when I meet him, well, I thought, well, I just know we, we both will know. We just got to figure this shit out. And if we don't, oh, well. So... Salute you, girl. Them shrimp is bomb. On my journey, honey. I'm, I'm glad on my journey. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad. On my journey. You know, even though we go to some, some place, some, some things, you got to remember what the word said. The word said, The joy you have. The world didn't give it and the world cannot take it away. <laughs> uh -huh. Period. We're going to go after this one, y'all. Because we've been on here for like 20, 21 minutes now, I think. Mm -hmm. Who cares? It's Friday. I got so many videos about it. I don't know if I'm going to load them. Well, I may. I may choose. This, this, Y'all, when you season your food, I don't, get, I don't care what it is, and you let it marinate, when, once it's cooked, it's down to the bone. Mm. That's good. But let's see. Y'all done eating? I think I put a nice little chunk on here. Well. <laughs> oh, my show coming on tonight, too. Um, me and Dion was talking about it today. Uh, put a ring on it. It's juicy in D.C., y'all. <laughs> I might want to do one of those shows one day. Uh uh. I watch uh, Blind Dating. I, I love that show too. They was in Brazil. Man, you know when you can uh, meet somebody uh, on each other while not to see them, but for the voice and the conversation that you have, dating on on the, each other's while never seeing one another. 
just communicate and share what you like and share where you've been and share where you would like to go and the love that you desire and you fall in love in the pods. Man. That's that's one beautiful thing I believe I can do because for me, I'm a communication person. I know my desires. I know the love that God blessed me with and forgiveness. I know uh, for me, I'm not a surface girl. I'm a heart girl. You know, a lot of a lot of people won't understand that, but that's what he taught me to love from the inside out. And if I were doing that, I mean, I know a pair of lips can just say anything in a part and because you're not looking at that person. So they can't read your eyes, see your line or whatever, or the truth or the passion, you know, or the concern. But I've seen a, a few couples do that and now they're married uh, for, for a long time, you know, and... Wow, you know, love has no color. Love has no age. Love has no location. Love is love. It's agape. And it don't matter where it come from or whom it's coming from. Some of us may, it may have one love in our life. And never no more. Some of us may have love two times. And never no more. But the one thing you have to do. Is know that when love comes. You better grab it. Because it may not come no more. Come on. Let's sing. Come on quiet in the back. I'm about to start preaching y'all. I felt it. I, mm. Let's sing my choir people in the front. Make us sound good in the back. Come on, y'all ready? It, but let's shoot this, this toast. Thank y'all. I love you. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around. On the other side. So whatever you do for the rest of this day, do it good. Do it with purpose and do it with genuine love. I had a, a, a subscriber, uh, Mr. Bell. I ain't going to say your first name. Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell. Thank you for your comments. I will be doing another cigar video tomorrow, possibly if the wind don't blow my cigar out. If I can puff it and suck it like I do to keep it lit, stay tuned. All right, y'all. <laughs> oh, I was like, we, we saw him. <laughs> I love y'all. Bye.